Hey everyone, so I'm back in my old setup for another video for you guys, and that is to show you guys my skincare routine. So I'm really, really excited. I did one skincare routine before, and um, it's changed. Like I said in that video, my skincare routine changes all the time, and it's still true. I change it all the time, but um, I wanted to share with you guys um, what I have been doing for the past few months now. And I think this is really cool because all the products are completely 100% organic. Um, all natural, there's no bad products in there or anything, and that's something that is important to me. Um, all natural skincare I love, and um, I just love trying new organic brands ever since Eco Emmy um, came about, which I will link in the description box below. And that's how I actually heard about this brand that I'm going to be showing you guys. All the skincare that I've been using for the past few months is from one skincare line, and that is Blissoma. So you guys probably recognize my mild rice cleanser because I used this in my first um, ever skincare routine video and I still use this consistently today and I'm still on the first bottle which is crazy I'm just gonna go ahead and get started now so the first product that I am going to be using is of course the mild rice cleanser and I love this cleanser it has a really nice lemony scent to it um, it has kind of a mild exfoliation um, due to the rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and dampen my face with some warm water and then I will show you guys how I use it. Right, so my face is damp now with some water and I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand like this. Just about one and a half pumps. And then I will rub it between my fingers and put this on my face and on my neck. Now I'm gonna go in with a face polisher like this. I still use this. It's the same one that I've used for months and months and months. Um, and I'm just going to, um, not blend, I was going to say blend in my um, cleanser with this. I'm going to kind of exfoliate and this is going to help cleanse, um, really like get that into your skin instead of just on the surface. So I'm going to rinse this underwater and go ahead and rotate this on my skin. And you can see I do have some dirt that came off on here, some surface dirt and everything. Um, this is actually like kind of morning time right now so I don't have as much as I would when I do it at night after um, some of my face makeup is still on and everything like that. So um, I didn't get as much but still that is quite a lot for you know just waking up and having that on your face. So uh, after that I'm going to go ahead now and rinse this off my face and I'll show you guys the next step. After I've cleansed my face and patted it dry with a washcloth I'm going to go ahead and and use the toner and this is what it looks like. Love the packaging, it's still kind of, they're all really consistent with each other. Um, so this is an intense hydration tonic and it says um, to just apply it after your cleanser and then follow up with your moisturizer and everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray this onto my face. And then I'm going to go and moisturize. Now, I have a few moisturizers to show you guys, but um, the one that I use most often is the Smooth. And this is an A plus moisture serum and you can use this as just your moisturizer and you can also use it as a spot treatment. I've actually done that before um, when I have a pimple that's kind of surfaced I will um, put this on and I can kind of feel it stinging and it feels really good to know that it's just kind of like fighting your breakout and everything like that. Um, but I usually use it as just kind of an all over moisturizer and a spot treatment I guess because um, when I'm covering my whole face I obviously cover my pimples. So. Um, that's such a girl's word, pimple. I should just say breakup. Um, and then in the morning, since it is morning, I guess though I will use this one. This is the Awake Morning Facial Moisturizer. So um, this one says it absorbs quickly with no shine. Apply sun protection to finish. Um, so this is what this one looks like. And you can see this one is not really green. There's another one that's green and my sister actually has it right now. But it's called Lift. And that one is kind of like a green tint and it's good for um, people who are in their 20s or older and want to protect their skin, make it, you know, firm and hydrated. Um, so I don't really need to like prevent wrinkles at the moment for the most part, like on a daily basis um, because I am 17, but I will be using that in the future. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the Awake one. And you can also, what I really like about these, um, they're perfect for traveling because not only are they small enough, they're one ounce, so you can keep them under if you want to just, you know, check on your bags. Um, but it has this kind of like twist stopper. So if you put it all the way over to the right and you press it down, it's not going to come out, which is really important because you don't want to go traveling and then have it, you know, smush 
something when you know your bags are being handled um, not so gently and then it just like spills everywhere that'd be awful so you can just keep it on lock like that and then you can also just turn it to the left and it comes out really easily so I'm just gonna go ahead and do two pumps and this is really really smooth it's kind of going towards the center of my face has a little nick right there and work my way out and then to finish off I will go in with the Mandarin Kiss Organic Nourishing Lip Elixir or the Rosy Glow it's the same product but different flavors I guess um, scents um, so this one is kind of a more I don't know florally scent but that sounds weird, like putting like a floral scented thing on your lip. Um, and this one is more like oranges. So I'm going to use this one. And this protects, conditions, and heals your lips. So it's basically like a lip balm, but not really. It's kind of like a lip oil. Um, so it's really cool. comes in a roller ball like this. I'm actually going to use the Rosy Glow one. Um, but I just want to this on my lips. And I also use the Refine Mask. And it looks like this. I don't use this every day though. Um, this is the Clay Renewal Treatment. And you can apply, I'll read the directions. It says apply to the face and neck or to trouble spots as needed. Wait 15 minutes and remove with warm water and gently pat dry, tone, and moisturize. So I will sometimes use this in place of a cleanser or after or before my cleanser. And um, I meant before. I didn't mean like before or after. And this is what it looks like. It's just like a clay mask and it smells kind of good. I don't know why I think it smells good, but it has just like that light scent to it. I love it. Very, very pleasant. And um, I will apply this kind of like two, once or twice a week um, or whenever I get breakouts that are just really bad and I want to help them kind of get dried out and um, just, I don't know, prevent them breaking out more. I don't know why it just really helps. Um, but I love this. I love clay masks. I definitely recommend them. And they also gave me an after sun spray and it's really, really awesome. You go, you know, right after you're in the sun, you just spray it all over um, after that exposure and it's going to help recondition your skin, rehydrate it, kind of recuperate from all that harsh exposure. So yeah, that is it for my skincare routine right now. It's really, really easy. I feel like I have a lot less products than last time. Um, but I like that, you know, it's very easy to do, very manageable. It keeps my skin looking really really fresh and I love it um, so that is all I've been doing lately all organic products totally recommend Lasoma I will link them in the description box below and her Twitter she's so nice the owner Julie she's just like awesome and um, let me try out all these products so I'm really really thankful thank you so much Julie so let's say you wanted to try Lasoma but you only wanted to you know start off with like two products or so um, I would recommend the fresh mild rice cleanser because it's just really practical, you know, you need a cleanser um, to wash your face in the morning, in the night, whenever. Um, it's just really, really nice. It has that light exfoliation, so it's not going to be harsh. If you have sensitive skin, you will probably really like this. It has a light scent, not overpowering, so you're not going to, you know, have that really, like, clingy scent that is going to be very irritating during the day. It has a nice scent for a while, but it's not going to be, you know where it's going to irritate you if you're very sensitive to smells and everything. The second product I would recommend that you try out right away is the Smooth A Plus Moisture Serum. Looks like this. Smells really nice. Has a great liquidy consistency, but not like, too liquidy. I will just show you guys right there. And that's the consistency if you're wondering. So smooth. I love it. Um, obviously. Is this called smooth? I feel like it is. Yeah. Smooth. Obviously. It is really smooth. Smells so good and it also helps with breakouts so I think that's very important and good for a moisturizer to kind of like do double the duty. I hope you guys enjoyed my updated skincare routine. You'll probably be seeing another one in a few months because I do change it up all the time. But for now I've been loving the Bosoma products. I love organic skincare. If you have tried any really good organic skincare lines you should let me know below. I love trying out new things. Um, but yeah for now I hope you guys enjoy this and until next time I'll see you guys later. Bye! Thank <music> you.